Hey everyone, I'm CK. My pronouns are they, them. I am Lululemon Regent Street's newest ambassador. I'm grateful to be part of the Lululemon family and I'm honored to be here today to celebrate International Day of Yoga 2021 with you all, which is celebrated on the 21st of June every year. Thank you for being here. So we'll just take a wee moment to arrive. Just allowing yourselves permission to take a comfortable seated position. If you feel comfortable, you can rest your eyes down, relax your shoulders. Soften your jawline by bringing the tongue to the roof of your mouth. And just finding your stillness as you arrive. And then just bring in your awareness and your intention to your breath. Just gently align your breath to flow in and out through your nose. And as you breathe in through your nose, just notice any signs of the air gently entering your body and recognizing any signs that are just leaving as you breathe out. And as you breathe in, just notice the expansion on your chest and your lungs as you inhale and that sense of aliveness that each new breath gives you life. And then as you exhale, just allowing yourself to soften a little bit more. And then take a big, big, big deep in, heal all the way into your belly. Exhale, just gently purse your lips and just let the air flow from your belly to your chest and gently just out through your mouth. And as you inhale again, taking full expansion of your lungs all the way into your belly. Exhale. And on the next inhale, just allowing yourself a body scan, just recognizing within your body any areas of tension or tiredness or softness, any resistance. And just honoring what's here right now and allowing it to be. And then as you take a long, deep inhale, and exhale, just let the stagnant air flow from your mouth. The next in breath, just checking in with your emotional bodies, so just allowing what's here to be here and witnessing it. So just within your emotional body, no judgment, no resistance, no attachment, just allowing it to be. And then taking a really, really big deep inhale again, all the way into your belly. Exhale, just. <sighs> Next inhale, just checking in with your mental energy, your mentality, mental well being. Just recognizing any thoughts that are here. Again, any tension, any resistance. Just allowing acceptance of what is. And then taking a really big deep inhale again, all the way into your belly. On the exhale, just softening, releasing. Just with your eyes rested down, I'm just going to share the Dharma for today. So as our ability to know and heal ourselves deepens, we will be better equipped to examine the world more carefully. 
and heal more effectively. Healing yourself with love is a long-term process and healing the world with love is a long-term process. So perhaps for today's practice setting, a wee intention for yourself or for someone else or for something you're moving through or maybe for someone who's no longer in the physical realm. And as you take a big deep inhale again, just feeling that expansiveness, that sense of aliveness within your body, within your stillness. Exhale. Gently, gently bring your eyes back into center. For today's practice, we're going to do a nourishing chi sequence. So for the first pose, we're just going to gently just bring the soles of our feet together in front, slide them away a little bit, and we're going to come into seated butterfly. So just as you are here, you can just gently come down. You can place your elbows, if you're comfortable with this, on the floor, your forehead in your hands. If you have a cushion, you could perhaps put a cushion in between or a bolster and you could hug the bolster or the pillow. And then we're just going to pause here. So allowing your upper back to soften, your shoulders to relax, your jawline to relax and your chin. And we're going to pause here for a little bit. So yin is known as the sacred pause. So once we find the pose, we find stillness in the pose. And then we find stillness after each pose. So again, giving yourself permission to be. And any pain or discomfort in the hips, gently pull back, gently release. And bring your feet closer to your hips. bringing the awareness to your breath and just recognizing what belongs here, what belongs here in this present moment. more breaths here. And then very, very slowly just walking your hands back, allowing your spine to stack on top of each other one by one in the vertebra. Gently bring your knees together, slide your feet away from you. 
I'm just going to pause here. Again, just recognizing any subtle changes within your body. slowly going to come into balasana pose of the child so big toes together heels dropping out to the side and as we allow ourselves into balasana pose of the child big toes together heels drop out to the side hips sinking down and just allowing softening and opening of the back and the hips just allow your head to rest on the mat Rest your eyes down if you feel comfortable and just breathe. And be. Notice each of your fingertips gently being held by the mat. Notice the backs of your feet being supported. And just as you exhale, just softening closer to the floor beneath you. Just a couple more breaths here. And we're very, very slowly just walking hands forward coming up with your body and then allowing your front body to come down gently onto the floor we're going to come into sphinx pose so walking your hands forward so that your elbows and shoulders are aligned soften your glutes and your hamstrings let your feet rest out to the side and you should feel a slight sensation in your lower back if this is too much for you you can gently just come down Rest your forehead on your hands. If you'd like to go a little bit more intense with the stretch in your lower back, you can gently come up onto your fingertips, but again, very, very gently. Just recognize what you need and what you want, where we are right now. And as you soften your glutes and your hamstrings, just notice any resistance in any other parts of your body and just allowing that to soften as well. You can keep your chin up if you wish, or you can allow your head to hang heavy. Open up your back of your neck. And we're going to pause here. Slowing everything right down, slowing your breath down, your heart rate down. Allowing yourself into the parasympathetic nervous system. Allowing yourself to be in the totality of your own experience, where we are right now.
And just a few more breaths here. For those of you that are continuing to rest on your forearms, if you wish, you can bend your knees and bring your feet up together behind you for the last few breaths. And slowly relaxing your feet down. Slowly, slowly lowering your head to the backs of your hands. You can make a little pillow. Forehead onto the backs of your hands. You can take a little wriggle side to side with your hips. Just to loosen your lower back if that feels right for you. And then we're going to pause. Going to move through your open wing crow's neck. So if you gently bring your right arm out to the side with your palm facing down on the floor, gently ease off the left palm. Bring your left foot behind. You can bend your right knee if you wish. If that's too intense for you, keep your right knee straight. Allow your head to fall heavy. And we're just going to allow that shoulder joint to open. So just ensure that your right palm is on the floor. Your left palm is gently resting on the floor. You can rest your eyes down if you feel comfortable. Really allowing that shoulder to open. Feel the spaciousness in your chest. And just a couple more breaths here. And 
you haven't already, straighten the right leg. Gently bringing the left leg over, releasing gently off your shoulder. Bend your right arm, place your left palm on top. You can take a regular side to side if you want. Gently going to move to the next side. So gently outstretching the left hand this time. Just going to gently ease off the right palm, bring the right foot behind onto the mat. You gently bend the left leg and bring the heels together if that feels comfortable for you, and then gently relax your head. Again, recognizing the tenderness within the shoulder, any pain or impingement, gently easing off. Breathing here, recognizing thoughts, any feelings, any sensations, the breath. Just bearing witness to what is. And just a few more breaths here. And very slowly, if you haven't already, straighten the left leg, bring the right leg over and gently release. Hello with your hands again. Take a little wriggle side to side if you need. And just breathe here. And then just very slowly, just bringing the palms of your hands onto the floor. And you're going to just press up into a tabletop position. Just bringing your knees a little bit further and hip width apart. And then gently coming down. So kind of into a wider leg child's pose this time. So the knees are further than hip width apart. You're gently allowing your chest to come down in between your thighs. And this time we're just going to relax the shoulders. So bringing your palms 
facing up towards the ceiling, forehead on the mat. Just breathe here. So blast in the pose of the child. Really good for bringing us into the parasympathetic nervous system if we're experiencing anxiety or depression or having difficulty having clarity or concentration. Really allowing yourself to soften on the exhale. Just allow yourself to be supported by the mat beneath you. And just a few more moments here. So we just relax in your arms to the front. And gently walk your right hand over bring your left palm on top of the back of your right hand. Just allow that deep stretch down your side body. Slowly releasing as you walk your hands back into the center, come up onto your fingertips. Just opening the chest, allowing your chest to fall down closer to the mat. Really lengthening back, shoulders. Gently walking your palms out to the left hand side. Bring your right hand on to the top of your left hand. Breathe into that stretch on your side body.
gently releasing your hands back into center and then gently just walking your palms back to meet your body in the center we're going to bring our legs forward and we're going to come into caterpillar again for balancing your chi so bringing your feet out in front of you and we're gently going to you can bend off from the knees as well and we're just going to fold forward you can gently place your hands by your feet you can place the backs of your hands on the floor with your palms facing upwards. And then just allowing your, your shoulders and your head to fall heavy wherever feels right for you. Never pushing or forcing. Just allowing that opening across your back. Feel the lengthening within your hamstrings, your glutes. And as you arrive, just softening. Soften your eyelids, soften your jaw by bringing the tongue to the roof of your mouth. Soften the grip of your fingers, notice your toes aren't curling. a few more breaths here. And slowly relaxing your hands back onto the mat. And just walking your hands back, shoulders and chin gently coming up. breathe here. And then we're going to slowly lie down on our backs. And we're going to extend our hands behind your head. So you can just gently hold on to each shoulder. You're going to bring the right ankle over the left ankle and bring your feet to the left hand corner of the mat and then you're going to bring your left elbow down in the same direction so it's banana asana or half moon and again you're going to feel that nice stretch down the right hand side of your body just ensure that your hips aren't rotating so both of your hips are level on the floor and soften your shoulders again your neck your jawline and just breathe here Thank you. 
And if your mind begins to wander, you can gently, gently just bring it back by breathing, sensing, and feeling where you are right now. Recognize the sensations in your body, any sounds around you. Notice your heartbeat, bring it back to gratitude. Just a few more moments here. And then very slowly, just gently bringing your upper torso back into the center. Bring your right leg into the center as well. We're just going to pause here to realign the spine before we do the opposite side. And if you remember and choose to, you can swap up the grip. And then we're going to bring the left ankle over the right ankle and bring the right elbow down in the same direction. Line for that opening down the left side body. And just ensure that your shoulders and your elbows are relaxed as well. Notice that both hips are gently on the mat. And notice your breath as you breathe into the stretch in the side body. Just a few more breaths here. And 
And then you can gently bring your upper body back into center. Release your left leg. And then just gently releasing your arms and we're going to come into Shavasana Corpse Pose, final rest in pose. You can take a pentacle variant if you wish, which is just allowing your legs to open wider, your arms to outstretch. Just allow yourself to take up space. Palms facing up towards the ceiling. Resting your eyes down if you feel comfortable. Rest in your jaw and allowing your body just to deeply relax. If you wish to come deeper into relaxation, you can inhale through your nose for four, hold for seven, and then exhale through your mouth for eight. slowly beginning to bring the awareness back into your physical body so you can wriggle your toes wriggle your fingers take an overhead stretch stretch up towards the ceiling and bring your knees into your chest and give yourself a hug Gently down yourself to roll over onto your left hand side into fetal position. So in yin yoga we roll onto our left to allow the air through the right nostril, the sun, the more masculine side. So honouring the masculine and the feminine, everyone in between. ready gently coming up to a comfortable seated position and then just noticing how your mind body and soul feels in equanimity physically emotionally and mentally after giving yourself a bit of time feels right for you, you can bring your hands to prayer at heart center and just feel your heartbeat on your thumbs. Thank you all for being here for this yin practice. The light in me honors the light in you and may all beings everywhere be happy and free. Jai.